delight your users with showback reporting using NetApp OCI. OCI's data warehouse capability allows you to create reports such as this chargeback or showback report. In the product, we map in information specific to your organization such as tenants, business units, projects, and applications, as well as different tiering and cost values. Using this information and the infrastructure that OCI discovers, we can then provide a cost for each application or each business unit based on the resources they're using. So this is a more detailed report. So you can see things such as tenants, lines of business and business units, as well as the applications and their associated virtual machines or servers, and the tier they're assigned. So we have things like gold, silver, and bronze, and this may correspond to things like all flash, a mix of flash and SATA, or SAS storage. So this is really you know, per organization basis, but it allows us to assign a cost to each of the resources the application is using. We can then also see the allocated capacity and allocated cost overall for each of the applications and then broken down by business unit. So you can use this data then to show each owner or each application team what resources they're actually using and what the cost of those are. This unified chargeback report is a different way to view the data. Now you'll notice this looks similar to the report we were just viewing, but it's pared down a little bit, so it only shows application, service levels and cost, as well as provision capacity and provision cost. OCI is very flexible in the way it can display these reports so we can choose what data and what fields go into it. And this is something that may be more useful to show to business owners or application teams. And you can actually have these run on a monthly, quarterly, weekly basis, or you can run them you know, as a, as a one-off report as well. But these are really useful to hand out and show data against what they're actually using and what they're being charged for their different infrastructure and application costs. Now we're back in the OCI web interface and I wanted to show you how you go from a top level showback report like we just saw down to the application details within OCI. So here we're looking at an APAC Cruises application and all the infrastructure associated with it. We see latency and IOP statistics as well as associated compute resources and storage resources as well. This is a great opportunity to look for right sizing and we can see here under the storage resources the actual different storage pools and volumes and arrays that are associated with this application or that this application has provisioned storage on. We can see how much capacity they're using out of how much they've been allocated as well as any statistics like performance. We can then use this data to potentially look at an application maybe that's over provisioned so something that's provisioned on an all flash tier but really isn't using that very much maybe the the IOPS throughput is pretty low or the capacity utilization is low and this might be a good opportunity to save that department or that application team a little bit of money by bumping them down to a lower tier. Conversely, there might be an application that's maxing out, right? It's so all the capacity is used or hitting the performance limitations. Maybe it's on tier two storage and needs to be bumped up to tier one storage to help with a better performance and deliver against those SLAs. So this is really useful being able to go from a top level showback report about costing that we can deliver to business owners and then all the way down into the infrastructure pieces to view the data that underlies that. So it really helps connect the dots between that report and what the costs are actually associated with. Please contact us to discuss your IT challenges and learn more at netapp.com OCI.